I want to warmly welcome all our listeners and our viewers to the online broadcast from the Diocese of Ife, Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Uh, today, Sunday, 13th day of December. I want to thank God for His grace upon our lives, for keeping us alive and well till today. We bless His holy name. As we go into this broadcast, uh, shall we just pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you because you are the one who has kept us alive and well and has given us grace to be alive today, to witness this day. Lord, as we share your word and as we discuss, we pray, Lord, that the entrance of your word will give us light, to give us understanding. The word will transform us from where we are to where we ought to be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The title of our meditation is Prepare for His Coming. Prepare for His Coming. And our text is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1. We'll read from verses 19 to 28. Verse 19 to 20. John, chapter 1, verse 19 through to verse 28. Now this was John's testimony when the Jews of Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confess freely, I am not the Christ. They asked him, then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I'm not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way for the Lord. Now some Pharisees who had been sent questioned him, why then do you baptize? if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet. I baptize with water, John replied, but among you stands one who do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the tongues of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany, on the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Amen. So the title of our meditation is Prepare for His Coming. And the passage that we read, the record of John the Baptist, this was when he was interviewed about the coming of Jesus. The record here indicates a testimony, not just what is written. And John testified to the coming of Jesus. The people that were sent to interview John were the Jews who were expecting a Messiah. They were priests and Levites from the religious headquarters in Jerusalem. Just like then, today, people are still curious about the Messiah. Some people are genuinely seeking for a savior but unfortunately, they are looking in the wrong direction. And of course, there are people who are indifferent, just like we have today. But that will not stop the purpose of God. In the time of John the Baptist, God still fulfilled his divine purpose of sending a savior to redeem mankind. So let's examine the questions that John was asked. The first question they asked him is, who are you? It is very pertinent to know your identity. Because if you don't know your identity, you will miss your purpose. And if you miss your purpose, then your life is meaningless. John was very, very clear about his purpose. At the time this question was asked him, it was very popular. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 5, the Bible says, Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region about Jordan. So John the Baptist was well known from Jerusalem 
to Galilee. And he was regarded as a savior by many. However, in John chapter 1, verse 20, he replied. He actually confessed, the Bible says, and he denied not. He confesses, I am not the Christ. You must not only know who you are, you must know who you are not, just like John the Baptist. John confessed. He said, I am not the Christ. This is not the attitude of many in the world today, especially some church and religious leaders. Such leaders have arrogated all the attention and glory to themselves. It's all about them, just because God is using them, and they have garnered a large crowd or a large following, just like John the Baptist in those days. But Jesus warned about such men in Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. He says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And in Acts chapter 8, verses 9 and 10, we also see the example of somebody who was pretending to be a savior. This man was named Simon. The Bible says, But a certain man called Simon had long been conjuring in the city and amazing the nation of Samaria, claiming, claiming himself to be some great one. All gave heed to him, from the least to the greatest, saying, This one is the great power of God. And they were paying attention to him, because for a long time he had amazed them with conjuring. Just like then, today we also have all kinds of magicians who amaze people and who arrogate the power and the glory of God to themselves. You cannot prepare for the coming of Christ by pointing attention in your own direction. No matter how much God is using you, you need to point men to Christ, just like John the Baptist. You must realize, like John the Baptist, that you are like a voice. Like many who have come before you, and your role is to prepare the way of the Lord. In John chapter 1, verse 23, John said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. The second question that John was asked goes thus in John chapter 1, verse 25. And they asked him and said, Why then do you baptize, if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah? nor that prophet. And his answer was just to describe the purpose of the coming Messiah and thus prepare the people for the coming Messiah. And you see, the narrative from what John did changed from him to the coming Christ in his response. The account in Luke is much more detailed in this regard. We'll read Luke chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. Luke 3, 16 to 18. John answered all, saying, I indeed baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I comes, the tongue of whose sandals I'm not worthy to lose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his storehouse, but he will burn the chaff with unquenchable fire, and then indeed, exhorting many things, he proclaimed the gospel to the people. So we, re we see that John was very, very clear that the purpose of the coming Messiah was to baptize the people with the Holy Spirit, not with water as he was doing, and with fire, and he was able to gather those who accept him into his kingdom and deliver judgment on those who refuse. This is what John preached to the people. And this is how he preached the gospel to the people, telling them that Christ was to come and to baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire and to gather those who will accept him into his kingdom and burn those who will refuse. So that same Jesus that John preached about came and fulfill this redeeming purpose and give opportunity to people to repent and be saved. The same Jesus is coming again 
to judge the world. Now, how do you prepare for his coming? Number one, if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, you need to prepare for his coming by accepting him as your Lord and Savior. If not, you will get rewarded for your sinful ways and the end is eternal damnation. Jesus is coming back to judge the world. Matthew chapter 16 verse 27 states very clearly. It says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward each one according to his works. Similarly, in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1, the Bible says, Therefore I solemnly witness before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who is going to judge the living and the dead according to his appearance and his kingdom. So, how do you prepare for his coming? If you don't know the Lord and Savior, you need to prepare for his coming by accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Secondly, if you are born again, you also need to prepare for his coming by making yourself pure and holy. And not just doing that, pointing others to Jesus, just like John the Baptist did. Finally, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 21 to 23, the Bible says, Prove all things. Hold fast to the good. Abstain from every appearance of evil. And may the God of peace himself sanctify you and make your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blamelessly at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is coming soon. Are you prepared? Let us pray as we close. Our Father, we thank you for the promise that you sent to us by sending your Son, Jesus Christ, as a Savior. We pray, Lord, that those who have heard and have not responded, Lord, we pray that you give them the grace to accept Christ into their hearts so that they become children of God and they will escape the coming judgment when Christ comes. And those of us who are already Christians, we pray, Lord, that you prepare us even as we prepare ourselves, make ourselves holy for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ so that on that day we'll be prepared to reign with him. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.